at 5 o'clock, the drunk driver who ran a red light and crashed into a pregnant woman causing the loss of her unborn baby. That driver has learned his fate, but not before he had to come face to face with the victim's loved one. 10 News anchor Riel Creighton is joining us live and those victims asking the judge for the maximum sentence. And, and they didn't get what they asked for. He had been facing up to 10 years in prison, but in this case, the judge inside here said there was no rap sheet, there was no criminal record, but he still gave him some serious time. And also for the course of the Sentencing in a Vista courtroom for Jose Iriostegui, forced to hear from the people he hurt. Mi forma de mirar es el asesino de mi hijo. Just because, in a way, as I see it, he is my son's murderer. With the help of an interpreter, Lucretia Vasquez describing physical and mental torture she's endured since the accident she barely survived. Vasquez and a friend on their way to work in June for a cleaning service, their Nissan Ultima broadsided in downtown Escondido by Jose Iriostegui. Drunk behind the wheel, prosecutors say, when he ran a red light, his blood alcohol more than twice the legal limit. Vasquez suffered severe internal bleeding. Five surgeries later, the real pain said this mother in court, the loss of her unborn son. She was six months pregnant with a boy whose name she had already chosen. And I still suffer for Santiago. Police said Iriostegui tried to get away, but bystanders stopped him and kept him there until officers arrived. I accept full responsibility. Also, with an interpreter pleading with the court for compassion, telling the judge and this family he's sorry. And you have no idea how much I suffer because of the damage they have that I have caused. He was sentenced to more than seven years in prison. Now, in the state of California, there is a law preventing Iriostegui from being charged with the death of that unborn baby. We're live in Vista tonight. Riel Creighton, 10 News.